big day for me. Tell me how it went for you. Tell me how it went. It felt, it felt amazing. You know, coming out here on my first jump, 17-28. It felt amazing. And, you know, I fouled a couple, uh, passed a little, and just gave it all my all. And the last one, after I found out I made the team, it felt amazing. Yeah. Did you knew you had that in you today? How were you prepared? Uh, of course. I've been training for it all season. Um, I, I always knew I had it in me. I just had to have the right time and the right place, and that's exactly where I went, Eugene. And I did it. Yeah, so you've had quite a month here. Yep, yep. NCAA national champion and U.S. national champ. It was amazing. A blessed month. Yeah, so what did you change? What did you work on between NCAAs and now? Um, I worked on my last phase, um, working on my 18th step, because, you know, I had taken it back during nationals, and that was the first time. So being able to um, come out here in, in USA and work on it and get it right, felt, felt great. That's the only thing that I worked on so far in my last phase. Something I have to work on heading into Paris. What made your first jump so good? What made my first jump was so good was um, it was just the aggression because you know I felt the wind coming towards me so I had to run a bit faster get harder and it was the first jump was just a just a test and to be out there to get the test and jump 17-28 that's amazing and that's what it was. Yeah and um, you said the last jump then were you just confident knowing you're on the team yeah, knowing you're there um i had passed my first one in the final second one was just a tune-up i told my coach that it's just a tune-up for the last one and that's exactly what it went as planned in 1752. what does it mean to you to make the olympic team uh, it means a lot you know i worked so hard for this um this is, it means it means a lot for me my family and my school you know not a lot of people know where, my, where what school i've been to um but it's a blessing to be able to represent them. Yeah, tell me about how did you end up at Fairleigh Dickinson? Uh, I went to a Division two at first, um, Lincoln University in Missouri. Then I decided to transfer over during COVID and I just stayed there for the, the whole four years. Because um, the jumps coach actually was my high school coach. So being able to have that, be there with him, um, it was just all about loyalty and, and trust in the process and everything came out the right at, at the right time. So what is it like to work with someone for that long? Uh, it's it's a blessing, you know. Not a lot of people get the opportunity to have that right person to be able to um, coach you properly and be, and get you to the level that they need that you want to. Um, we have we just have that nice relationship for the past eight years, and it's a blessing. It's just a blessing. What do you want people to know about Fairleigh Dickinson? Uh, I want to know. I want them to know that um, it's a nice school. It's a nice private school in um, New Jersey, Hackensack and Teaneck. Um, it's like about 15 minutes away from New York, from my hometown. So it's really easy transportation. If you want to enjoy New York, hey, you, you can just take the bus and you're right there. Yeah. Actually, I'm curious, I might have come in late, but I want to say congrats. And just curious if you could talk through the competition between getting the standard on the first jump, finishing off with even a bigger PR. Just what was kind of your emotions through the competition? Um, yeah, so on, on Friday, I tried to get the standard, but I wasn't able to. I had a couple of fouls. And then today, I just decided to come out here um, on the first jump standard. So it felt ama amazing. A lot of weight was off my shoulder. And I just decided, you know, I already had new. I had probably made the Olympic team already. And and um, the goal was just to work on my technique throughout every jump and being able to um, execute every phase. Um, my last phase wasn't very well, but I'm something I'm going to work on towards Paris. And 1752 was an amazing jump. And it's actually crazy. I can't believe it right now. But hopefully when I get home, it sinks in. I mean, what went through your mind when you saw that mark come up on the board and you actually saw it officially? Oh my God, it felt it felt amazing, you know. I was jumping up and down. It was a, it was just an amazing feeling, you know. To jump that far is that's about 57 mid, I guess, and that's that's really far. And being able to do that with all the hard work you put in, it's a, it's a blessing. And I'm curious what it meant to have because this was a high quality field in terms of the names. Christian Taylor will play even Donald Scott, right? He's going to be joining the team. Like, what did it mean to be amongst some of these great triple jumpers and be one of these great triple jumpers now? Yeah, it meant it meant a lot. You know, uh, these guys are phenomenal jumpers. They're they're they, they've been great. You know, they're part of triple jump history. So being able to compete against them in one of the best in one of the best triple jump fields, it's, it's amazing. And you know, I, I really look up to them. And it's a blessing to be able to go out here and compete with them for the second time and being able to come out here and win. 